So what are you practicing for? I'm getting ready for my online study group meeting. What? Most online study groups meet online, and even study groups for regular classes aren't for band practice, they're for studying. Study groups are great for sharing knowledge, getting you motivated, increasing your ability to work in teams, which we'll talk more about later. With extracurricular activities, sports, and more, it's hard to get everyone together at the same place at the same time. So it's easy to meet and study online. But to be successful and help you make the grade, here are a few tips for participating in online study groups. First, choose a leader, someone different for each meeting. By doing this, everyone gets a feeling of ownership in the group. Then, set goals. Write a list of questions to cover in that particular study session. Next, prepare an agenda to make sure main points are discussed. And over the course of the semester, share the workload. Create study materials, help other members learn, and compare notes. Because one of the best ways to learn is to teach someone else. Set regular meeting times like once a week or every two weeks. Whatever works best for the members of the group. Choose to meet real time, virtually with tools such as Skype, by phone, or chat room, or even in person. Stay in touch online by email, course mail, or group discussion boards. Participating in an online study group can help prepare you for working in teams. Many online courses require you to do assignments as part of a virtual team with people you don't know or may never see. These team assignments might be instructor required or student initiated. Also, working collaboratively online is a skill you'll need in the workplace. Not to worry, web applications make it easy for several students to work together on one team project. Teamwork usually begins with brainstorming ideas that are narrowed down to the best ones to meet project goals. And just like online study groups, there are some tips to follow for successful teamwork. One of the most important is to assign group roles early in the project. Those roles may be designated by your instructor or the group's responsibility. If left as a group's responsibility, two primary roles are suggested. The facilitator manages participation and keeps the discussion focused. And the reporter communicates with the instructor when help is needed and it's time to report group outcomes. Next, develop a plan. The team plan is a schedule on how members will break down all the tasks to accomplish the assigned project. The plan includes overall project goal, the milestones, which are smaller tasks to reach in the team's goals, and the objectives for each milestone and who is assigned to. Be sure to also assign dates and times to complete each milestone. The plan then becomes a master schedule to keep everyone on task. The project is closer to completion as members achieve their milestones. For example, you might create an outline and draft to submit to the team for review. Your milestone is then combined with everyone else's, and the project is put together as a whole. Once the project is reviewed, corrected, and fine-tuned, the project should be complete. As with assigning group roles, planning may be designed by the instructor or left to the group's responsibility. We said it before, communication is the key. Participate on team discussion boards. You can do so at any of the time of the day. Post papers, graphics on the team exchange areas, common areas for all the members. If not provided in the course, request an area from the instructor or think of other means for the group and send the messages to all the team members using texting or mailing list. Remember, your participation and your grades are linked to the success of the group. But what about those group members who don't do their part? It can be frustrating. Email the person privately and ask for an explanation. Give the person some examples of what the other members of the team are doing. Make sure that he or she is aware of the group expectations. Offer to help the person and perhaps transfer some of his or her work to other group members. After repeated attempts to get them involved, it's time to talk to your instructor. So if you want your group to perform, stay focused, communicate, and put a plan in place. Now let's learn online. Thanks for sharing the cake.